two percussion works. This video for today is still in the beginning of series. This is going to be for the timbal. At first, the first videos we showed you was danzón, which really, if you're going to learn this instrument, you really should learn the danzón first because that's where this instrument comes from. And then you learn cha-cha-cha, which kind of evolved from that song, okay? Today we're gonna learn cascara, which is played in Cuban song, what they call salsa nowadays, which is Cuban song is what it is, okay? So it's played on the side of the timbal, not on the top or, or on the bell string, okay? So it's played on the side. Now, when you hear rumba, you're gonna hear that cascara played on like a wood block or this wood block here, which is a synthetic wood block. You're gonna hear it played here too. It's really the same cascara. Sometimes they change it, right? When they play rumba, it changes a, a little bit, but it's the same. So some, but when I'm song, you're gonna play it here. So this is what it is, a two bar phrase. Okay, you will hear the clave in there. I'm playing 3-2. You hear the 3-2 clave in there. This is the 3-2 clave. Cascara. The clave is in there. So now, if you were to play the clave and the cascara at the same, time you kind of hear it in there too maybe we miss you don't play one note but pretty much it's there okay so now i'm going to play it now the cascara and the two bar phrase i'm going to try to count it for you so you can see where it where it is in the count remember if you're playing with a band and you're playing with a band leader and he's counting Remember, your cascara is a two-bar phrase, so that counts for two bars. So two cascaras is four bars, right? So we have to rethink of it that way, especially when we're counting. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to try to count it for you. One, two, three, four. So now, two bar phrase, don't forget that. You can play it straight up like I'm playing it. Remember the clave in there too. It's gonna help you a lot when you do that. It's all straightforward, no accents. Slower. Okay, it'll work. Doesn't groove that well though. You can accent it now to make it groove a little better. So now I'm gonna accent it. Check out the difference. Un, dos, tres, cuatro. Grooves a little better, right? You can do it with two hands. Sounds a lot more like when you're doing it, uh, uh, when you're playing a rumba, when you do it with two hands, it's pretty cool. So now, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna add one more thing with this. We're going to play here what they call solao and abierto. You're gonna play it here as you're playing the cascara. So, guess what? You're playing
playing this on the two and four. You're actually playing what the conga player is going to be doing in song. He's going to be going one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two. What are you doing? You're doing his slap with the sobado. And when he does the two opens, you're doing one open. You're playing it on the four. He plays it on the four and you're just playing it on the four. But you're playing his slap and his opens. So he's going to. You're playing it here. Okay? So now, I'm going to play them both. Un, dos, un, dos, tres, cuatro. Okay, so that's it, pretty much. The only thing that you have to remember is that sometimes they'll start on the two side of clave. A band leader will start on the two side of clave instead of starting on the three side, which would be. Cascada's the same thing. Okay? That's the only thing that you would have to remember with that. Okay, so just in case you play it on a two, now the chart may be a chart written in two threes. So you're gonna have to start it on a two side. Okay, let's say the chart is written in three two clave. Then you're gonna have to read it on the three side. It's not that complicated once you get clave down. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I tried to make it as simple as possible and make it groove a little bit too. Thank you for the video. Keep watching. Okay, like and subscribe. Uh, I'm, I'm going to do another video uh, soon and explain to you the, a lot of the equipment that I use here too. And that, that can help you. Plus, we have a lot more be beginner videos coming, which is going to set you up with a great foundation to go forward in this Latin percussion music that we love. God bless you guys. Until I see you on the next video, stay safe.